Hello, this is Mr. Agbamo Donogwene. I'm here to present another mechanism analysis for you. This time around, I want to present the Scotch York mechanism. Let me introduce it into the Jojiba app so that you can see it. Let's work together. Okay, so this is the Scotch York mechanism. Let me enlarge it a little. So let's see. Now, how does this mechanism work? It's very simple. The crank, which is BA calling 2 here, yeah, as you rotate around, it carries this slider. That is, carry this uh, slot along this line and pushes this piston to reciprocate inside this cylinder. So at this A, go around like this. This slider here. Yeah, move around it pushes this rod which connect to the piston and the piston reciprocate inside this cylinder so let me just demonstrate it here so that you can see it and understand what i'm talking about so you get your center point let me use radius 2 okay so that is this circle with red <coughs> hidden lines let me get the point a on the circumference of this circle which is this okay so just take note of that let me label them very fast all i just need to do is to right click and rename this is a um, b okay then this is um, a just to right click and rename this is point a okay so that means as a rotate round like this it pushes it pushes this <laughs> slider here along this cylinder so the piston will reciprocate in this order so take note of that this is the name of the mechanism this cut your mechanism okay so how do we achieve this let me get my horizontal line first get my line on this place okay so this is my line then since the point a is the one rotating is the one deciding this movement of this slider so i get my circle with the center a then let me take a radius of for example let me take four let me see the length okay four is okay so this is the point at which the slider will move then let me get my point of intersection between this line and this point very important so well, let me hide this point first Okay, so let me also hide this one. So this is the one I need where the piston will be attached and it will go like this. So let me even hide this circle so that we can see it as we move along. So this is what I'm saying. See as the as point A rotates, you can see that the this is the piston now. Piston will be moving on horizontal order like this. So I've achieved the first aim, which is this. So I need to get this link here, this slider that will be moving up and down. So how do I do that? I need a perpendicular line, perpendicular of this line that will pass through this point A. Then I need this point is very important. So that is the point of intersection between these two perpendicular lines. Yes, cutting that. Then this is what we are saying you can see that as a rotate around the circle is sliding along this line then i need a radius of let me see radius three okay this is okay yes so i need point of intersection of this and this okay so this is the two mark i need to serve as this sliding slot here okay so i think i've achieved everything let me hide this circle let me hide this circle then let me test and see let me hide this first let me connect my segment between these two points this to this, and I think I can hide this 
okay now before I hide that let me connect this point to this hmm. well, let me hide this horizontal line so A is the one rotating yes I've achieved what I want yes that is it then the next thing for me to do my connecting rod my crank from B to A all right so the work is done mechanism complete all I can do simply now just to show this piston that is sliding let me just do a small polygon box there let me take a radius and let me just take a small radius let's say 0 0.5 Okay, let me just do a quick polygon here, something like this. Cancel. Let me do it again very fast. Okay. All right. And let's hide those points we don't need let's hide them let's hide those points we don't need let's hide them okay so that is it let me click on A do my animate so that is it so as point A rotates it carries it slide along this member now then it pushes this piston to reciprocate inside this cylinder so that is the mechanism I want us to get so you can see at this as it rotates it push this member like this Y point A move along this link this link here up and down and it's pushing this one move down so the piston will be reciprocating in this order so this is the scotch yoke mechanism in some design this we have double piston a piston can be attached here to this left side so both of them will be moving left and right in this order so it's still similar to this so that is all about this mechanism the scotch yoke mechanism you can see as well a rotates it slide along this link then it pull this arm that connects to the cylinder and reciprocate inside the cylinder so this is the scotch york mechanism a very simple mechanism you can see the way it works and it's very easy so that is all i have in this video i hope you enjoyed this video do have a nice day and take care